With the release of Beyblade Burst Quad Strike, we ended getting introduced to all the main characters. Again, uh, we even got some random ones, like Kit, specifically. Oh, the light just went out. Hold on. So, Beyblade Burst Quad Strike, with the anime reveal trailer, we ended up getting the introduction to Xander, Ken, Hyuga Hikaru, Kit, Aiga, and Drum. Today, we're going to be looking at Yuga's Bay, Stellar Hyperion, and Pitt's Bay, World Knight, from Beyblade Burst Quad Strike. So obviously, I, I think it's pretty obvious now, they have the black light gimmick. Uh, funny enough, me and Shay and did predict it. Now these two bays, I'm not too mad at. Like, okay, so Stellar Hyperion is, of course, still an attack type. Uh, World Knight. I, it, it was, it, World Knight, I actually don't mind the changes, uh, especially the tip bounce. I mean, it was, it was, it was turned into a semi-flat if the camera can focus. And it, but, or I should say, but it did come with the Jaggy driver, which we never got a re-release of. We got tapered because we couldn't get the moon disc. We have the layer, which is World Knight with uh, the quad drive equivalent of two. And the, we got night core. A lot of details are missing. And then the world blade. I actually like the down, like the downsizing. I don't like how big some of the uh, TT bays are. I like this. I like the downsizing. I just don't like the alignment that, that it has to be in high mode to be properly aligned. That's the one thing I don't like. Other than that, this bay is pretty, it's okay. It's all right. I don't mind it. Oh yeah, here's the code. When, when the app. All right. Hyperion. Once again, not too mad at the downsizing. I actually like the size of this. Wasn't expecting gold. I thought it was, I thought it was, oh yeah, it's completely translucent too. Forgot to say that. That's what caught me off guard. I was expecting it to be mostly opaque, or solid, I guess I should say. Hyperion core, overall, pretty tight. Uh, did come with a uh, 7 dash, basically. Uh, we got Diagron, because we couldn't get tapered, it was on night. We got Explosion, and Garge. <laughs> it's just funny. All right. So overall, not too mad with the downsizing. I'm actually happy they gave it seven. I feel like Hyperion could easily use seven. Uh, but overall, I'm okay with the changes. Now, we get on to one of the main gimmicks of Quad Strike. Let's turn off the light. Turn on black lights. I love this gimmick. A lot of my customs work with it as well. And overall, they look sick. All right. World Knight is pretty cool. Uh, the tip just glows amazingly. It actually... It, honestly, the blade looks incredible. I love the blade. The blade looks good. Overall, looks-wise, World Knight... This is, like, pretty good quality. Okay, this, this, I have to say, somehow, it's like decent quality. It's like uh, slingshot quality, which wasn't too bad. wasn't all too bad, all right? Uh, Hyperion, I should actually put into low mode because the outer core actually glows this time because of the green. Thank you, green. All right. Putting together Hyperion. Hyperion, yeah, it's tight. Uh, I like that. Uh, Hyperion goes orange. I act, what? I, yeah, okay, so the gold goes bronze. Red goes like an orange. You can actually see the eye for once. You can see the green. Silver, eh. I do like the shape, though. And I like the downside thing. Overall, not too bad. They're not bad. I'll give them that. They're not that bad. Now, 
we get on to actual testings. I will be doing it in the Thunder Red and of course the DB Stadium. So I guess we're gonna see the exact quality of these two. I see how good they perform in both stadiums. It's gonna be first to two for each round. I'm gonna be doing high mode, low mode, uh, plus and core. So that way we can get like a full understanding. So obviously we are going to be in low mode with the armor tips first in the Thunder Edge. We're gonna see how that does. I'm actually kind of excited. Kind of excited to see this. Let's not, let's see. Let's see. All right. Uh, three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right. Oh, Hyperion's actually aggressive. Actually uses the stadium to its advantage, sort of. Yeah, Whirl is just gonna... It's gonna be a whirlwind. Uh, spin finish. Yeah, Whirl is... The blade is basically Garuda, too. All right, three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one. Yeah, Hyperion actually uses the, sh uh, the shape of the stadium. It just, it, it's hard to win against the world. That's the issue. All right. I'm going to be taking off the armor tips now. That way we can get a f uh, feel of how they do in core mode. Yeah, core mode. It's called core mode, if I remember correctly. I think I do. So now, world, world Knight is an attack type. Stellar Hyperion is a uh, defense type. Let's try this out. Let's see how good is Royal Knight in attack mode. And of course, Jaggy is aggressive. I am happy we got a Jaggy recolor finally. Uh, now you can make Magma Ifrit without having to get the stadium set. Ooh, spin finish. All right, I'll actually launch World first this time just to get a full feel three two one go shoot actual actual good hit i would have preferred diagron or you know what over over put over on night at least at least it's close to move same with achilles put over on it at least it's close to illegal can't even do that all right spin finish i'm gonna be swapping into high mode uh, overall, Hasbro part choices just. Eh. I don't get why we couldn't get six. Why can't we get six? Like, come on, man. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Oh god. Overall, Knight and Hyperion are very like tight core wise. Core wise, they're tight. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a new theme with Quad Strike. And I'm happy with it. Very happy with it. Finally. Tight Hasbro base. Alright. Uh, so now we have the armor tips off and uh, high mode. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. World Knight actually doesn't look half bad at spinning. I do like the downsizing. I love it a lot. I can't say it enough. Downsizing was a good choice. Does suck they removed the gimmicks though. Alright. 1 0. Like, if they had the gimmicks, and they just had, like, the downsizing, I would have been fine with it. Like, Ooh, Diagron really killed Hyperion in there. Alright. Overall, if they just kept the gimmicks, I would have been fine. Like, they gave us the right parts, they kept the gimmicks, and they just did, like, the downsizing, I would have been fine. Hasbro, you would have been 10 out of 10. All right. So now we go into armor or core plus mode, I think it's called. Uh, let me actually check the box right now. Uh, yeah, it's core plus mode. Core plus mode. Okay. These Hasbro names are just confusing. They really are. All right. World Knight. And. Stellar Hyperion. Ooh -hoo. Then, of course, in the DB, I will have the lights off and do the black light. All right, three, two, one, shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. Good hits from Hyperion. Wow. 
Hyperion really does use the stadium shape to its advantage. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, one zero. Yeah, Whirl is just Whirl is a tank. Hasbro meta. Hasbro meta is gonna need this. Good hit. Like Hasbro uh, competitive is gonna feel this one. All right. Yep. To be expected. All right. Now we are swapping over the DB with the black lights. That way we can actually see them in action. So now I will turn off the main light, turn on the black light, and we are going to be doing core plus mode. And oh my god, World Knight looks so good. All right. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Hyperion just looks off. Or yeah, we're in core high, core plus high mode. Hyperion just looks odd. Oh uh, yeah, bounce. Bounce actually has good. Uh, like it's not that bad. Wow, what? Three, two, one, two. Three, two, one, two. I'm actually surprised that bounce performs that well. Yeah, the, making it so short really killed it. All right, two zero. We're going to be going into uh, normal core mode for high mode. That way we can get good feel on this one. And oh my god, the disc. The disc is like reflecting the cyan. All right, Hyperion. All right, two, three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. Hyperion is now a defense type, while Whirl Knight is an attack type. Whirl just looks so good, dude. Oh yeah, Whirl, Whirl that's the scraping. Alright, Whirl actually gets it. Wow. Uh, three, two, one, shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. Overall, Whirl is just an amazing Bay Hasbro one. This is really good. For no reason, either. All right, yeah, that's pretty obvious. We won. All right, we're going into low mode now. I am overall happy, looks-wise, with Whirl. Uh, or not looks-wise, not looks-wise. Uh, performance-wise, I'm okay with it. Uh, size-wise, I'm okay with it. Uh, I do hate how this, this should be the proper orientation. This right here for low mode. They didn't do it. They made it like, oh, you are putting it up top. <laughs> no, it's dumb. Just give us proper orientation for low mode. That's the mode everybody uses. Nobody cares about high mode. Unless you're, like, trying to use an older disc. Like, please, for the love of God. You did it for Pandora, okay? You did it for Pandora. You did it for Excalibur. You did it for... I don't even know. Oh, there's so many bays. All right. Uh, three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, that yellow, actually, or like that lime green. I like that. I love lime green. I don't know why. I love it. All right, Whirl, what are you doing? Whirl is scheming. Whirl is, in fact, scheming. All right. Spin finish. Yeah, Whirl is just a beast. Wow. Whirl is overpowered. Hasbro-wise, it's really good. Like, give this thing a TT6. This could be amazing. Give it a TT6. Obviously, I have a mod on how to make it, like, TT compatible. But this is really good. I... Wow. Yeah, it's actually good. What? All right, now we're putting the armor tips back on for low mode. I, I, I'm I'm just surprised. Whirl Hasbro wise is just tanking Hyperion, and from what I've heard, Hyperion is like a very good uh, stock attack for Hasbro wise. From whatever I've heard, and from Cheyenne and my friends. All right, three, two, one, two. Overall, Whirl and Hyperion. Like Hyperion obviously could have some good use because of the core. I can already see Whirl Hyperion being really good for Hasbro. But overall, wave two, I'm kind of happy with, except, except for Bolt. Bolt Spriggan, or Bolt Spryzen, I'm sorry. Uh, 
ultimate two pack uh i don't like i like the comet helios two pack i like these two and they're like twister All right three two one, two. i know i probably uh messed up around but whirl is just getting whirl is just getting all the wins uh i know i'm ranting but overall wave two i love and hate it uh whirl hyperion helios and uh twister i like oh yeah uh title oh my god can hyperion get a win hyperion gotta win let's go boys let's go hyperion win for once all right there's one shoot there's one shoot it's one one i'm going for two overall wave two i love mp it's like half love half hate all right yeah whirl i think that's obvious overall world compared to its tt counterpart it's okay i mean i like the downsizing it's pretty good uh then we get to hyperion let me get out the tt counterpart where it's uh oh yeah i forgot <laughs> of course i forgot about the gimmick okay so obviously with hyperion and helios for the tt counterparts we ended up getting the gimmick of Eclipse, basically. We got split gimmick. We got to split the layers in half, and we got to do uh, the uh, Super King. The Super King Fusion. I like the Super King Fusion gimmick. It's just... The bays feel too large. The bays are just too large overall, in my opinion. BU is a large season. That's all I'll say. Or, uh, technically... Season of releases, not really anime-wise. Overall, bays are too big, in my opinion. But it's okay. It's okay. Could have been done better. But it's okay. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? So, you know what? I'm just going to grab two of the fusions. Overall, uh, World Knight. I'm gonna have to give it a, like an 8 out of 10. Looks wise, it's 7 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for performance. That is actually impressive. Hyperion does actually give decent hits. I'm surprised about that part. Pretty damn good hits. Uh, it's extremely tight, but it's just performance wise. The tip, obviously, not gonna be great since it's modified, but. Yeah, normal Hyperion, I don't, and I don't even think it does anything. Oh, it kind of does. Uh, but yeah, Whirl, 8 out of 10. Hyperion, I'd give it like 6. Alright, that's enough of me. See ya.